Tripod cam? Tripod cam. Over there. But between these masks. <laughs> between these masks. Okay. Right. I fix, I fix. Here, I can move two of them. Ready. Yep. All right. Ready? Yes. Let's go. I'm ready. Tripod cam. Whenever you want to start. We're, we're, we just we, we done started. Let it know we're rolling. We are rolling, rolling. Rolling, 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 rolling. <laughs> All right. So hi everybody. Uh, here we are. Uh, I am going to say what? Tiger. Oh. Watch those cords, Rue. Hello to. Sean Fenner, Jordan, Ike Camacho, Monkey Strap, Anthony Saletti. It's been a while, Anthony. I feel maybe I'm wrong, but I don't think I've seen your name in a little while. It's good to see you again. Uh, Poison Sumac, Christopher Lazote. It's also been a while for Christopher. Uh, Edson Glutes, Mast Slasher, South Omaha Horror, Hugo Cordier Lette, Ross Richard, Big Dan Custom Art. And Barbara Saletti, Cat Swift. I think that's it. We did it. Um, Jordan. And and Jordan Easel. Jordan. All right. So uh, this is. We have a photo shoot tomorrow for a show that is coming up in July, and I wanted to revamp some werewolf masks in order to make them. Uh, ready for the show. And a lot of these aren't even ones that I sculpted. These are ones that my friends made and my plan was always to revamp them kind of more like this one that I, this is one that Mikey Severe sculpted and I turned it into a gray werewolf with gray paint and that's what I'm going to do for a lot of these guys. We tend to keep our werewolves all one color now because that makes laundry, werewolf laundry easier. Hint, they're the same color as our crocuses, so that we can reuse a lot of the fur and stuff. Caragon says, good evening, everyone. Hope you're fabulous. Hello. Austin I, Denny says, hello. I am fabulous. You are, in fact. Uh, Austin Denny, hello. Good Jennifer to see Blue. you, Austin. Hello. <laughs> Ezekiel Bradshaw says, hello. Ezekiel. June Ritchie says, hi, gang. Uh, hello. Hi. This will be a very bald werewolf. George Eagle says, I'm wearing headphones and for a second your audio went stereo. Shouldn't it be in stereo if you're in headphones? They found that to work? No? No? You understand. Okay. All right, I'm going to grab some skeezers. I think the scissors are on the other side because that's how we do things. Of course. So, since I have uh, lost some weight, yesterday, day before, Monday, I went through my closet in order to get rid of pants that don't fit because I have a lot of pants that I just can't wear because it's ridiculous with the belt. Um, and in one of my pair of pants, I found a pair of electrical scissors that Rodney Pope had given me. Aww. And uh, I was really looking, I was wondering where they were. And now that I have them back, I'm very happy. I, didn't, I forgot to bring them into work, but at least I have them at home. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. This mask, uh, before, well, I was gonna say before I took it apart, was from Closed Casket Studios. It still is from Co Closed Casket Studios. I just took their hair off of it. Because this is, Brown and their finishing work is lovely. I just wanted their sculpt for a werewolf that I can wear. And I'm just gonna do a bunch of Allen style werewolves for this shoot. Jennifer Pugh said, Oh my god, aw, Rodney. Yeah. I have 
have a large head, I know I gotta put a little salt in this one. Wow, Rodney Pope. Uh, closed casket studios tends to make masks a little on the smaller side. They have smaller heads than me. Uh, some of the Macy's Day balloon people have smaller heads than me. But that eye is pretty much in the right spot. There are no breathing holes, so when I breathe, all the air goes in my eyeball, which is bad. But cutting the appropriate holes will work. Pretty sure that most people are having me do Charlie Brown feature moments. <laughs> Jordan Easel says, there's this YouTube channel I've seen recently. They made some pretty good looking zombie masks. I'd like to explain how they made their masks. Um. So well, if you'd like to explain it, then you go right ahead. <laughs> Hugo says hi, Stacy. Right, that's. I read that right. Yep. I heard that right. Right. Yep. Yeah. yeah. You have the right to explain anything. You. I appreciate you explaining things. <laughs> Every now and then somebody says something on here. Like, would someone please explain? That? You got some explaining to do. You see. Yeah, so this is the day. Rue, what are you working on? Locks still? Locks. Locks and horns. Those are locks and horns. Their field grow neck to corn. <laughs> yeah, I think tomorrow, because Robert will be here doing the shoot shoot, we gotta try and get some pictures of this order before it goes out. Both for Shannon's sake. Uh, and and client's uh, sake. Yeah, and, and for their sake. And because I want to see them on people. You want, you want to what? I want to see them on people. Oh, I, I heard you say, I want to see the monkey. I'm like, did we make a monkey? Yes. I didn't even see I that in the plan. Like the when did we make a monkey? When did we make a monkey? 1980 says, can you explain why his teeth are not true to the canine genus? Yep, because the sculptor decided against it. Really, it is that simple. And you know, when you're mixing, werewolf is tough because a human skull and, and a dog skull are so different. They're so different. And uh, really, uh, blending that anatomy, you can be way more creative. There was a werewolf movie called I could have mentioned it if I started the sentence two seconds ago. Sure. Um, late phases. Late phases. And the werewolf in it looks very different. It looks almost a little cat-like. Well, if you mix a human skull and a dog skull and a wolf skull, you kind of get a cat skull. So, uh, and that was by David Greathouse or David Henson Greathouse. Yeah. Who does amazing work? But a very different design from what I'm used to in werewolves. Barbara Saletti says hi, Shannon. Uh, not Shannon tonight, it's a Stacy. That is Stacy that you hear yakking over there. <laughs> Ezekiel asks, how are your supply chains going? Finally getting plaster and contact cement in good amounts. Can't get back to the full swing of making stuff. Um, we're pretty good here. Uh, we're, it's still harder to get Ultra Cal but it's not impossible. And we're sitting on a little bit of it because I tend to buy in bulk though. So this mask is obviously... In the on spot right here. Oh. So this mask is obviously from Dracula, uh, Bram, Bram Stoker's Dracula. And... Uh, I bought it in order to make it into a gray wolf. Um, and I'm going to rip all the hair off of it. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> there you go. Um, 
Sean Fenner says, I know you're not bringing much stuff to East Coast Honors Convention, but will I be able to pick up a Stilby sticker at your booth? Absolutely. Yeah, we'll have, we'll have swag for sure, because there's so many new people that we're going to see who you know our YouTube channel and whatnot, but they don't make it to the other shows. I'm so excited about that. Jordan Easel says, they take a balaclava and pay, place it over a head form, then they spread an even coat of silicone caulk over it. Next, they take a pre-made skull face appliance and glue it to the balaclava with more caulk, and that's all they show. They didn't explain painting. Okay. Um, if you can avoid the silicone caulk, I would. It, there is a separation between that and your head with the balaclava, but silicone caulk is a... Um, Tin cure silicone, and what is approved for touching human skin is a platinum cure silicone, which is why they're so expensive. Um, so you don't want tin cure silicone right on your skin. Uh, I've made gloves and stuff out of the caulking over top of fabric gloves. You just. You know, and if you're wearing it for one night, one show, the odds of the arsenic leaking out of the silicone are s slim. But just be aware that it's not zero. Jordan is last. Is that something you could do for a YouTube rinsing? The real soft skin? Yeah, I think for the wrench reasons I just mentioned, I won't do it. But um, I, there are, I mean, it's just a sock mask. You do the same thing with latex. You do the same thing with contact cement. Uh, I would avoid caulk silicone. Now, when you're painting um, silicone masks, because there's a thick layer of silicone, you can use silicone caulk to paint a silicone mask. This is very nice hair work that I am undoing with a vengeance. <laughs> You know what, I think I'll keep it. I don't think I'm going to change it. I'm just going to leave it the way it was. It's always fun to say when you're past the point of right. maybe I should, maybe I should. Especially if someone else is doing the work. Yeah. They didn't know they tuned in for werewolf waxing. Yeah, this is work. <laughs> Kelly Clarkson. Crips <laughs> oh. says good evening all. Hi, Crips. Hey, Crips. I'm unmaking a mask so I can make a mask. I need to change these guys up a little. Productions. There you go. This was quite lovely before I did this to it. His ears are so high, it's kind of cursed the werewolfy. Yeah. Well, yeah, I guess it's really noticeable with no hair how high the ears are. Yeah. The ears kind of tuck right in once the hair's on. And my hair won't, the hair I'm putting on won't be quite as long. Crips says, Stacy, I have some bad news for you. Oh no. Sherry Phillips says, yo, hey from South Carolina. Hello, Sherry Phillips. Well, lay it on me, Crips. What's the bad news? They probably discontinued the vampire show. Oh right? no. That would be my guess. Field Walker Masks says hello from Scotland. Hello, Field Walker Masks. Field Walker, do you make a werewolf mask? Field Walker, if I recall, I looked you up at one point. There was a lot of zombies. Josh Newman says hi. Hello, Josh Newman. Crip says it's the last oh, season of what we do in the shadows. Yeah. That's sad. Whoa, Josh Newman, bam, blam. Whoa, Josh Newman. Well, it's been an incredible run. Bam. 
when. Uh, 1980 says, found a fiberglass rabbit head Easter decoration in a thrift store. Brought it home, furred it, and gave it red eyes and fangs. Snuck, uh, snuck over to my in-laws and hung it on their fence as a prank and never took one pick. Well, see, you had a goal in mind of hanging it on the fence. And that goal stopped you from make, taking pictures. I would take down cords if there wasn't a constant layer of dust. Yeah, you can't tape cords to <laughs> like dust. There is no, there's no taping cords here. Edson Glutes is looking like an avatar head now. A, a little, yes, I can see that. Jordan Easel asked, if you already answered this, I missed it. Is there skin safe latex call? I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say no for safety. Could there be? Yes. However, um, that's a construction product. They don't have to tell you what's in it. And one of the things that's really good at keeping things in a liquid state are the solvents, which evaporate very quickly. And those are very bad for your skin. So I, I don't think any of the caulking is gonna be a good thing to use. Some, I am, I am cheap. I assure you I'm cheap. Sometimes you gotta buy the right stuff. And the right stuff is not going to be at Home Depot or uh, Walmart or wherever. Sometimes you can. Like if you're doing props, you can use latex caulk, you can use silicone caulk, whatever. But if someone's going to wear it, if it's going to touch skin, their skin is going to absorb the solvents, their skin is going to absorb the heavy metals, and it's not, it's not good. Now how not good is it? Is it not good like you smoke a cigarette? Is it not good like you smoke a pack of cigarettes? Or is it not good like you walked into a room that was on fire and got a lungs full of lungs full of smoke? I don't know. You know. A lot of times people stop when they're explaining something of it's bad for you. Well, how bad is it for you? Um, I know from how much I work with plaster, every time you make, you know, let's say, four or five molds, it's like you smoked a cigarette or two. That's not so bad. Acceptable margin of risk. Yeah. Jordan says, because they were using something from a caulking gun, but I'll take your word for it all the same. Papa Hops knows best. <laughs> so high. <laughs> Fieldwalker Mask says, I've only ever made one werewolf mask, and I think it's about time to make another. Edson Glute says, oh, Mama says hello, and geez, Alan has lost some weight. Uh, yes. Uh, I'm down right about 50 pounds. Uh, I just, I need to be healthier. I have, if I had a heart attack, it would greatly hurt my business and the people who work for me, and that's unacceptable. Because I like donuts, their job's at risk, that sucks. Really, it was cheeseburgers and ice cream, not necessarily donuts. <laughs> you can still have that on Saturday. I'm a little torn with this one. Do I take off this hair and gray hair it, or do I just airbrush it some? So, if you, you airbrush, if you airbrush white on top of that, would it would it gray it out? Yeah, I can do a. I, honestly, because this is nylon, I would just spray paint it. All this hair is nylon. This is another delicious. Thing. No, this is October Studios. An October Studio. Mass Slasher says it kind of resembles the creatures from the desert. Uh, the previous one. Stricken Ghoul says it's very vampire bat creature looking. He meant the creature from the descent. Oh, oh you know yes. what? I read that incorrectly. Yeah. Yes. Why does that smell so good? Oh, it's so <laughs> good. <laughs> I'm sure, it's damaging my lungs. It smells. Delicious. Edson Gould says, she says, wow, that's great. Congrats. Good job. Thank you. <laughs> the hair flip. So good. 
Antoine is still tracking me with this mask on. That's yeah. cool. Jordan Easel asks, are you aware of the specifics behind gargoyle statues? Turns out a true gargoyle spits water, and if it isn't connected to a gutter, it's called a grotesque. I knew that. 1980 says sleepwalkers, caddish. Sleepwalkers is a good movie. Yeah. Hey, that looks great. I am one pound away from being under 300 for the first time. So, well, for the first time in a long, when I was born, I was under 300 pounds. But I've been over 300 for a long time. That's great. I Camacho asks, what diet are you on? Uh, I'm doing, okay, so diet is the right word, but it sounds like it's like a weird bad diet thing. Uh, I have a different way of eating, and my way of eating is in line with what is called the slow carb diet, where um, I'm eating food that I actually really love. It's called the slow carb diet, and um, you follow that strictly for six days a week, and then one day a week you get to have, oh, I'm signaling the camera when I'm <laughs> gestating here. Gesticulating? Yes. Not just gestating. Gestating is good. I've done gestating. <laughs> now I'm gesticulating. Big Dan Custom Art says, this is a good distraction for a bad week. I lost my wife last week. I'm so sorry, Big Dan. I am very sorry to hear that. 1980 says, never liked the mom-son scene in Sleepwalkers. Yeah, yeah, it had a little, it's, it had some uh, Hamlet notes. Wait, who's the other one? What's the Scottish play? Macbeth. Macbeth. Macbeth notes. Yeah. Jordan Easel says, also, not all, all gargoyles have faces. A gargoyle can be anything. Uh, there was a um, cathedral that was that issued gargoyles, and they were all, had all these different artists design them. And, you know, one was an astronaut. They weren't necessarily all monsters. Rue, this is bad. Where can I get a good one? <laughs> I got it out of the box, the bin. Let me grab the other ones. Barbara yeah. Saletti says, congrats, Alan. My hubby wants to lose a couple of pounds, too. The slow carb diet is pretty wonderful for me. If you can handle eating beans, I eat beans with almost every meal, um, then it's, it's pretty good. And I, here's what's funny. The other side of this is that we, I used to go out to lunch every day, 20, 25 bucks every single day. So now I know when I get through a stack of bowls, because I, I buy a package of bowls and I eat lunch at work, every time I get through with the bowls, like I've used them all, I've saved $750. Dang. Yeah. <laughs> Edson Gloop says, my wife says, hello, Stacy and Rue, where's Bug? Bug is at home. Bug is at home. Boom, 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 boom. Ezekiel says, beans means farts, question uh, mark? Beans doesn't have to mean farts. So uh, this is something that you learn. And actually, so, so this diet came from a book. Many years ago, I listened to a book called The Four Hour Work Week and I enjoyed it. And um, yeah, I listened to a book called The Four Hour Work Week and I really enjoyed it. So this, there is a book out, it's called The Four Hour Body. And in that book, and the concept is if you work on your body for four hours a week, you can maintain a healthy body. That's the whole concept. Um, but the diet, being the uh, slow carb diet is outlined in the book. And what am I talking? Oh, so because he recommends this diet, he goes over how to not be so farty on beans. And I, okay, ridiculous. Um, I do not fart in front of women. They don't need, they don't need that in their life. 
I, it's bad enough to have to smell me on the outside. They don't need to smell my insides. Uh, I don't fart in front of my wife. Like the funny ha-ha, fart on your wife, or hold her head under the covers when you break wind. Um, I think that's like a step up from pooping on someone. And I'm not going to disrespect my wife in that way. So I don't do that. So it was important to me that I could do this diet and not just be an outrageous wind-breaking machine. Um, but if you buy organic beans, and those are the ones that have a pop top at Walmart anyway, so that's really good. Um, you buy organic beans and you rinse off the murk off of them really well, that they come in the can, then it's really not so bad. All of those, thi all the things that cause the toots are largely washed out. And you can take a beano if you need to, but normally I don't and I'm pretty- I can back them up on this. I've kind of been on the same diet and yeah. You have to do it the right- It's not so bad. Yeah. I, I expect it worse. What kind of beans? Um, it could be, you can have refried beans, pinto beans, I almost sound like Forrest Gump, Bubba Gump here. Uh, kidney pinto beans. Pinto beans, kidney beans. Garbanzo beans? Um, garbanzo beans are technically not on do, the yeah, You don't have garbanzo beans. Because they're chickpeas. Yeah, or chickpeas. Yeah. And peas have a lot of sugar in them. Hmm. And they, it's called a slow carb diet because of how the carbs get digested. And quick carbs are the ones you don't want, and that's what those have. So you can have a little bit of hummus, but you don't want to have a lot of hummus. Pets and glutes, your poor employees after all those beans. Guys, it really hasn't been bad. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, and that's not something that I do anyway. It's just canned chicken. Yeah. Creative Duke says, I probably resemble a gargoyle on my bad days. Otherwise, hi fam, what stuff is going to get made today? Now, what they do think smells bad is the canned chicken. Because <laughs> I, I, I buy like cat food. canned chicken, <laughs> canned beans. Mix it together in my office, and there you go. Um, can it, you know? Yeah, and if I don't take the garbage out and I leave for the weekend, and I come back to my office, Woof. and there's a can, empty chicken can in the garbage can, that's not good. Uh, Creative Duke wants to know what stuff's going to get made today. We are working on werewolves today for a video shoot, photo and video shoot we're doing tomorrow. Barbara Saletti says, having my hubby eat beans all the time would be dangerous. He'd be pretty windy. 1980 says, birds in Australia are parts of the U.S. Uh, poison Zodiac says, hummus, ch hummus, chickpeas with sesame seed oil and garlic and lemon juice. Very good. Uh, it is good. Jordan Easel asks, what's your opinion of the new Beetlejuice movie based on the trailer? I haven't seen the trailer. <laughs> Kamacha says, from Beast Man to State Door. That, that could be the case. Rip says, visions of blazing saddle campfire is coming to mind. Okay, so the first time that 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 was played on TV, all right, and for some reason they edited out all the fart sounds. So it was this very awkward slow scene around the fire of them talking, and they edited out the fart sounds because they didn't want to play that on TV when I was a kid. Did you ever find a man in the Alps? Uh, Ed says, we were talking about you this week about different surgery procedures and how's you doing with the physical stuff and where's angle. How, how are you doing with all your physicality? Me or Rue? Yes. Oh. Oh, well, Rue answered. Uh, I'm, I'm doing fine. It's just a, yeah, my foot's just a persistent thing. I'm seeing a doctor about it. They gave me a new boot. New boot goofing. It, see, it it doesn't really bother me that bad. And then you use it. it and then you use it, and then it bothers you pretty bad. Yeah. You're in that cycle of, oh, this feels good. I don't need to take my medicine. So you don't take your medicine. Oh, this hurts. I should take my medicine. Yeah. 1980 says jelly beans. <laughs> Only no. No. The, uh, no, no sugar no. is a jelly is a big. But you know what? Because I can have whatever I want on Saturday, if I want something sweet on Wednesday, I'll buy it. And I'll hold on to it till Saturday. What I like about this is it's not never. You can't never have that again. That's just you're not going to have it right now. Barbara Saletti says, I grow beans in our garden. Easy access. Creative Duke says, no, no fart bombs, please. Coffee isn't always kind to me. Coffee or too much coffee does some damage. 
Creative Doof says, canned chicken smells fine. Canned spam, on the other hand, is just weird. John C. says, hello, I'm late. Phone not working for some reason. Hello. Hello, John C. Creative Doof says, Filmation was trying to keep their stuff tame. Jordan Easel says, I hope to eventually make a corned beef grilled cheese. I've never had corned beef before. Have any of y'all had some? Y yes. Oh, yeah. I love, I love corned beef. beef. Give me a Reuben sandwich any day. I don't have a lot of Reubens because normally they're on rye, and rye is one of the only things I'm allergic to. Really? Yeah. So I'll, I'll take a Reuben on the. As far as I know, it's the only thing I'm allergic to. Yeah. Creative Deuce says corned beef is alright, but it can be a little salty. That is true. I've never heard of a corned beef grilled cheese. But I wish you well. I'm not, I'm not not down. <laughs> yeah. A great taste, taste great together, yada, yada, yada. Mm -hmm. Alex is making a face. I wish you could see Alex's face. <laughs> Her corned beef face. Ezekiel says corned beef is awesome. Sherry Goff says human beans. That's... I guess we get it they say it tastes like pork. <laughs> The other white meat. Oh. Austin Denny says the only thing I'm allergic to is a diet. <laughs> yeah, it's it's tough because I don't like using the word diet because that sounds like like oh no I'm on a diet, it, it, but what you eat is a is your diet, so it's di it's diet. Try pumpkin. Why? Why do you change? Because for you variety, can see, you can see what you're doing on the table better. You can, uh, you can see your face real good on the Ozbot, but uh, if you want to see what you're working on. So picture, picture. I'm painting all the left gloves first. I still have to set up the stream deck for doing picture and picture. You still have a little corn starch on them. I sent you the vidya. You did. I just have not. I, yeah. yeah. <laughs> have not had any time or brain space for that. Ooh, yeah. Ron, Don't be 400. <laughs> Rhonda Dent says, hi there. Uh, hi there. Oh, yeah. Is there a... Is there a song with Rhonda in it? Help me Rhonda, help, help That's me it, Rhonda. help me Rhonda. However, um, the name me. Rhonda in my TV market, we had Rhonda Shear was our up all night horror movie kind of hostess. Really? Yeah. She was very much uh, a bimbo. <laughs> that was we her had, thing. Yeah, in the Elvira That's variety. Right. I had Count Gordeval, and uh, there was another guy who looked like he was dressed like a superhero a little bit, like a superhero garbage man kind of guy. Uh, I forget his name. We had Count Gordeval, who looked a bit like Dracula, and then uh, Rhonda Shear was like one of the bigger stations, like TBS or Turner or whatever. Jordan Easel asked, do y'all like Thousand Island? It's become one of my favorite condiments for burgers, fries, hot dogs, and fried chicken. Yeah, I like Thousand Island. There's a, a number it's of pretty sugar- pretty good on a corned beef sandwich. There's a number of sugar-free <laughs> sauces that uh, I enjoy now to flavor up my beans, uh, my beans and vegetables. And um, one of them is sriracha mayo, Ooh, yeah. which is delicious. Can't confirm. Which is in the fridge back here, by the way. I know, I gotta take it back up to my office. <laughs> <laughs> the captioning when you said the sriracha mayo is delicious, it's like I thought you said bitch is delicious. <laughs> and it didn't, it didn't... It censored it. Oh, it censored it. Yeah. Okay. Edson Gluck says, camera angles are up to your producer, Miss Stacy, and she could use a mic. <laughs> Listen. I don't set this up. Stacy sets We're it up. We're working on it, guys. Creative Duke says, those gloves look awesome. I bought some of what I call darkness clawed hands. The, the black gloves detached because they were sewn on. Any tips? Because the latex top parts are still good. Um... I actually hate all the gloves that have the fabric hands and then the latex piece on the back because they always separate. They're just going to separate. Um, tips. Just contact cemented on in the last another week. Like that's, <laughs> that's just what you do. Um, 
or get like a, a like a leather work glove and mount it onto that. Uh, sewing is going to work the best, and it's going to be a giant pain in the butt. Um, these gloves are from Zagone Studios, who is one of my favorite mask companies. I bought a bunch of them because I love them. Uh, we call these Allen gloves because they fit me, as they say, like a glove. Like a glove. Wrong one. <laughs> Ozbot has like a personality because it moves, so it's mm -hmm. easier for me to look at Ozbot. I need to put some googly eyes on top of the tripod cam. Fair enough, we can make that happen. <laughs> and you're back in the Ozbot. So. <laughs> we well, just need a, as I was saying. <laughs> we, need a, we need a monitor, that's what we need. We need a light that pops you on. You need the light to come on on which one you're yeah. on. As it comes up. Yeah. <laughs> Ezekiel says, and Elvira's not a bimbo? <laughs> that is one of Elvira's trademarks. And Rhonda Shear goes like, obviously, I want to be like Elvira, so I'm going to be blonde, uh, so I'm not exactly like Elvira. Yeah. Creative Beer says Elvira did well in the 80s. Jordan Easel says Elvira is one of my favorite hosts and has nothing to do with her look, and just like her personality. Elvira does well now. Oh, yeah. She's great. <laughs> 1980 says 999 Island is okay if you like generics. Classic Ninja says, everyone always says werewolf. No one ever asks how wolf. <laughs> Jordan just says, speak it, speak it, Classic Ninja. Big Dan Customize says, are the story time fist bump snail effects coming back? Yes. We're working on the, well, I'm not working on them. I have given Stacy the tools to work on them. Yeah. So eventually they shall be worked on. Now Stacy has the tools. It's no longer my fault that we don't have them. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. Hey, look, a bus! Yeah. <laughs> In my massive amounts of spare time. That's just, it's a, it's, I gained a letter, it's a buck. I'm passing the buck. Yeah. Yeah. The King says, hello, Alan and Stacy. Hello. Uh, Rue is here. I'm here too. Alex is here. <laughs> All right, I've done five Other way, Rue. left hands. <laughs> now I do five oh, right hands. This is on that camera. Yeah. Which like camera are we on? Over there. Right now we're, we're, oh. we're voguing. The You're on the camera. Osma. <laughs> Uh, Creative Duke says, thanks, Alan. Yeah, I'll stop by Spirit Halloween and occasionally buy stuff. Unfortunately, high quality isn't something that Spirit is known for. Rhonda Dent says, I like the snail effect. <laughs> Ezekiel says, Stacy, get under the bus. Ha ha, joke's on you. I live under the bus. <laughs> yeah. Bus is like an upgrade. Yeah. <laughs> you can park your bus. You can park your bus at Walmart overnight and they don't mind. <laughs> The King says, Roo! And hello, gang! I think that's a band. I wonder. I it's not The Weeknd. I think, think it's a band early. going somewhere else, and it's just asked the Love and War if they could be in that part of it. Creative Doof says, Apple snails could be your next inspiration. Those things are huge. I used to catch those all the time when I lived in uh, Orlando. And, uh, I would beat them to gators. <laughs> Jordan Easel says, how does Rue spell his name? Uh, just like that, Jordan. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> Christian Ty Edwards says, I believe we are still due for a Stacey and Alex takeover for YouTube Wednesday. We are. We're, we're behind on YouTube Wednesday. Paint, paint these gloves. Oh, wait, not a live Wednesday. <laughs> okay. Got it. There's uh, a new YouTube Wednesday should be coming out um, this week. Obviously not on Wednesday, <laughs> but it's this week. It's just the name of the show. Unless it launched, like it could have launched and I wouldn't even know. <laughs> Buster Max says, hello, better late than never. I know that we have five in the can, but that does not mean anything as far as editing goes. Ezekiel says, greasy roo. Why would you say that? That's not, a, <laughs> that's not nice. Like now, listen. He is Australian. Greasy, spelled like that, could mean something different. I don't know. I, I don't. I don't know. Could mean worse. I, I'm kind of a greaser. I, I'm okay with it. It's fine. Sean Fenner asks, "What other were creatures would you like to do? I would love to see a were walrus for some reason." So listen. Well, am I on odd spot? What am I on? You're on odd spot. Listen. For I did. Um, Frozen with Fear Haunted House. We did that theme four times. 
at my haunted trail. And every year I let people pick characters and every year we did it, I offered Wear Penguin as one of the options. Don't, don't show that on camera. I'm not. Great. That's why I'm um, over here. I offered Wear Penguin as one of the options because I thought that would be fun and scary. But no, 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 one one ever picked, no, one, no one ever picked Wear Penguin. They imagined it would be hard to chase groups as a Wear Penguin. <laughs> Jordan Neeson says, I'm looking forward to see Stacy make some witch hats. I'm looking forward to making some witch hats. It's, it's in the hopper. Yeah, as soon as we need some witch hats. Creative Duke says, yeah, apple snails are an invasive species. The, cl the crew that cleaned the San Antonio River found a lot of those snails. Plastic Ninja says, the answer is Wear Clown. No. <laughs> Ezekiel says it means cool. Clown tats. Uh, this is greasy, hot rods, cool tats, etc., etc. Yeah. Roo Roo is way cooler than me. That's without doubt. Rhonda Dent asks, did you ever do a Bigfoot mask? I'm like educational TV. Roo is like reality TV. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know if I should be offended by that. <laughs> that's, that's true. <laughs> That's true, you don't. Um, have I ever made a Bigfoot mask? The very first mask I ever sculpted and molded in 1995 was a Bigfoot mask. I have probably made... I remember sculpting seven different Bigfoot masks. So I probably sculpted like eight or ten. Jordan Easel says, Rue, did you ever at any point in your life get a pompadour? I had a pompadour for ten years of my life. And I got told to cut it all the time because I was in the military. <laughs> Creative Duke says, clowns already creep out people. A wear clown might be a bit much. Ezekiel says, clown tax. But a <laughs> clown is a person in makeup. So if you take a clown, you just have to take off half of their makeup. And then they're half clown, half man. So I'm all for it because that means there's less clown. <laughs> They would be depleting their clown gene pool. You, you walk out into the full moon and all of a sudden you just get real greasy and yeah. start turning white. Yeah, just, just ah, start, but not only, again. But only half. Only because half. Because you're 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 half man, right. half clown. Half clown, yeah. So you're not full clown. Right. It's just the nose. Yeah. Uh, that would be like thinner a mind. Nose starts to swell. It starts off as just a little zit. Like, all of a sudden a it encompasses clown. your whole nose. Red ah. ball. <laughs> the king says, yes, clown tax. <laughs> no one, no, no one knows this. <laughs> oh, so I think a terrifying monster would be a wear leopard seal. Oh, yeah. Because of what good predators they are and um, how mobile they are in the water. And if they got a little more mobile on land, uh, I think they would be... Scary. The king says that gave me a flashback from when I started to join the live. Austin Denny says, "No clown. Wish we could ban them." Plastic Ninja says, "Oh yeah, did you see Godzilla vs. Kong or Godzilla X Kong?" I haven't yet. I I really want to. I know I'm gonna love it. Uh, I just haven't had a chance. We've been on quite the push lately. Um, for various reasons and for various things. Um, so any downtime that I get is very precious. Creative Duke says even a vampire clown would be a bit much. Jordan Easel says Cirque du Soleil clowns are interesting because most of them don't have red noses, which means they probably won't sell, set off any chlorophobes? Chlorophobes. Chlorophobes. Oh, thank you, Ezekiel. Ezekiel has paid your, your clown tax, folks. <laughs> thank you. Johnson that says, was, for the record, that was previously accruing clown tax. That doesn't mean we should keep talking. <laughs> John C. says, it'll look like your husky got into your wife's purse again. <laughs> Covered in makeup. Uh, Warmonger says, wear honey badger. Plastic Ninja, Plastic Ninja says, dude, it's exactly what you want it to be. Uh, Ezekiel says, the last time I pay clown tax. You are a generous man, Ezekiel. Alan, easy flow or liquid man? Easy flow. Easy flow? Easy flow. 
Michelle Trost says, hello, it's been a long time since I caught a live. I'm glad to see you. Hello, Michelle. It's good to see you. I'm just painting a base layer on werewolf gloves. That's how I roll. Buster Mac asks, why does Alan hate clowns so much? I don't hate clowns. I don't hate clowns. Um, how do people in Iowa feel about corn? Maybe they love corn. Or maybe it's like, I'm really tired of seeing all this corn. This unnecessary amount of corn that I see every day just driving around minding my own business. That's how I feel about clowns in the haunt industry. I don't, I don't hate them, but I, I would really like to see something else. Jordan Easel says, did you know Ringling Brothers doesn't have clowns anymore? Because they don't have a circus anymore. Yeah, I, I know that they're closed down. So. There was one circus I saw on TikTok. One of their elephants got loose the other day. Oh my gosh. It was like running down the street. Those are the best when <laughs> elephants go on a rampage. I love those videos. He was videos. just cruising down the street and the man was like chasing after I saw an elephant beat a dude like 40 feet in the air. <laughs> no way. He started, just the landing. No way. Let alone the hole through his armpit that Ooh, yep. the elephant Elephants don't through. forget, so maybe he deserves it. Uh, elephants do not forget. No. There was a friend of mine at, um, at Scarborough who befriended one of the elephants in the elephant ride and would bring that elephant an apple every day. Well, when that friend was visiting the Colorado Festival, the elephant saw them from far away, broke free from its rope, stepped over the fence, and walked over to my friend to say hello. Hey, buddy, where's my apple? Yeah. <laughs> I would <was> cry. <laughs> uh, Creative Doof oh. says, wear a parakeet, maybe? But that's, that's the best type of animal escape you can have, you know? Yeah. Um, Plastic Ninja says, it's very Kong-centric, the movie. Yes, it, I hear it's like Kong's coming of age story and uh, dealing with things. Justin Hill says, I saw you were, at, you were vending at IAPA. Is this your first time? I was vending at IAPA. I actually just canceled. Uh, I was going to vend at IAPA. It was going to be my first time vending at IAPA. Um, but I just, I just, I just can't, I canceled with them because my time is very precious. And for four days in a row, they said, pick three, pick four booths that you want to be at, and we'll assign you one. And every time, three of the booths that I picked were still available the next day, but they wouldn't assign it to me. And I just got tired of, of being kind of yanked around. And if every day I've got to do that, that's 20 minutes out of my day, who knows how many days it would have gone on. Dumb. Next lady says, may I gesture you towards the Harlequin and Mimes department? But Harlequin's a little better, uh, although uh, Harley may have put a dent in that. <laughs> you know, I find as far as supervillains go, not not even really a supervillain. No. Um, sidekick. Si sidekick, yeah. Fine as far as sidekicks go, but. Uh, I, I want to see other options. Ezekiel suggested wear koala, wear ru, wear emu. God, a wear emu would be terrifying. Be a wear koala, just go around giving people chlamydia. Because <laughs> that's what they do. Oh, well, that explains that guy in college. Bug Errand says a wear penguin. I'm trying to imagine how terrifying the inside of your mouth would look like. Oh, yeah. Hi, Bug. Inside their mouth is crazy. Hi, honey. Plastic Ninja says, wear wombat. Ezekiel says, I love when elephants flip humans. Camels too, hilarious. And a, oh, camels, they will bite down right here in the meat of the shoulder and their neck is drawn and just jump. <laughs> what am I saying? Oh, a, as far as being a hunter goes, frogs are very efficient. A were bullfrog would be terrifying. Buster Max says, I can understand his point now about clowns. Jordan Hughes says, I like clowns. I plan to dress as one this Halloween. I'll wear a shirt with vertical white and yellow stripes. My name will be Banana Joe. Oh, 
Um, okay, that's fine. Edson says, speaking of which, have you all been to the Colorado Ren Fest? I have, yes. Uh, I have an elephant story from the Colorado Ren Fest, but not one that broke out. Um, for a couple of years, I played a green man character, like a stilt green man, on, and I had a, a staff that I would just fold over myself, and you largely indistinguishable from bushes, mm -hmm. you know? So I was visiting the Colorado Renaissance Festival, which everyone on the circuit calls the Buns of Steel Fair. Yes. It's all built on the side of a mountain. Um, so I was visiting that show, and I was gonna walk parade. And backstage, I was lined up for parade, and they told me where to go. So I was waiting about 50 or 60 feet from the gate where they all left from, for my spot, and I was just gonna hop in. And here come the elephants, and I'm just standing up against the wall, covered in ivy, oh, with no. my stick goes, no one sees me. Yeah. And I'm walking, and I had a moment of nervousness, because I could tell the elephant's looking right at me. Because <laughs> I guess the elephant is meant like, no, I know this wall, that's not part of that wall. <laughs> so the elephant, who was walking in the middle of the road, starts kind of walking on my side of the road, and I'm seeing it coming like, you know, easily a hundred feet away or so and his trunk and he's touching me with the trunk like I know you're fake, I know you're <laughs> fake. But that, that's all that he did and I, I spoke to the guy holding up so he's like he spotted me and the guy's like, I didn't even know you were there so yeah I love the elephants walk in the parade yeah that's fun yeah they they did there I don't know if they still do I have no idea plastic ninja says I've accidentally started an actual clown discussion Big Dan Custom Art says a lot of mixed emotions about Ringling Brothers' return. I had not heard that Ringling was back. Um, All right. Are they still going to be an animal show, I guess? All right, they were safe. Uh, 1980 says a where capybara would be the cutest monster curse ever. Plastic Ninja says koalas got it from our sheep. It's a different strain, too, that we don't get. Sheep have chlamydia? <laughs> Oh no. Don't ask where the sheep got it from. <laughs> that's, a, that's important. But do they call me Martin the Fence Builder? No. <laughs> Ezekiel says wear cassowary would be nasty. Oh, that's just you're just a wear dinosaur. Like that's Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Nineteen eighty says wear squids, wear octopus, and wear shrimp. Barbara Salini says wear pangolin. That'd be pretty cute. Well you'd be like Heck super yes. armored. Like broom. I wanna be a wear pangolin. Just wear full plate. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> would a would a wear sloth be half as fast as a person? Or twice, or twice as fast, fast as, as a sloth. sloth. <laughs> yeah. In stereo. <laughs> Ezekiel says the sheep got it from the kiwis. Edson says, what a great story. And yes, as far as I know, they still have elephants in the parades. Bob Bowie says, I heard no animals in the New Ringling Brothers. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Yeah, Plastic Moon just says, yeah, the sheep on the other hand. Jordan Measle says, oh, 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 wear goat, goat man. So I actually, the when I was doing the green man, I sold like eight or ten green man costumes, no stilts, uh, to hunters. Because they came to the fair and they saw my costume like that's, I need that for hunting. <laughs> Big Dan Custom Art says, yeah, full circus, advertising heavy in New England. Huh, but no clowns interesting and and no animals and no animals what? so all stupid human tricks i guess yeah that's a drag i i very near you very nearly lost me to ringling red uh because like right right if right before uh right before i met tony <laughs> i uh i had a, a friend who was with ringling red tour as a clown and uh he was like yeah they're looking for a seamstress like you could bring your kid, like, you know, you could, you could go on tour, and I was very seriously considering it. And then I met my husband. <laughs> I lost one uh, costumer to uh, the circus train. Yeah. I Matt, wasn't. I wasn't super upset about it. <laughs> Mask Slasher says, "Imagine being." Uh, speaking of octopus, I was thinking of doing an octopus theme mask. How would you go about the tentacles to avoid a cursing mold making process? Uh, let's do build up. Just do just just build them. Uh, it's not very difficult. 
1980 says, imagine being cursed as a werewolf though. Every full moon you do red stripes and are drawn to large crowded areas. <laughs> Just carve your uh, carve your tentacles out of couch foam. That'd be a good way to do it. Jordan Eason says, I did say they wouldn't have clowns anymore. Yeah, that's wild. Stricken Ghoul says, a boxer who is a wear mantis shrimp. Oh man, they punch so hard. Murder punch. punches. Such wow. Mm -hmm. My Michelle Trost says Buffalo at Yellowstone can really, really can beat a person. Yeah. They really give. Normally, those videos upset me because the Buffalo gives such half-hearted efforts of trampling people. <laughs> like they really phone it in. Creative Duke says no. I think Ringling Brothers. I don't think the Ringling Brothers does live shows, live animal shows anymore. I wish I missed my wear parakeet idea. I actually saw Ringling Brothers when I was a kid We went to the show, and I remember. I went to Ringling Brothers a few times. Ezekiel says backer rod. We got, you just don't have the taper with backer rod. You, you can, but like to be tentacle thick to me for a costume, it needs to be at least pool noodle thickness at the base and then taper. And you can taper backer rod a little bit towards the end, like if you do a Predator Dreads, but um, I, I would rather just carve it out of couch foam. And then give it a latex paper towel skin. Big Dan Custom Art says, I saw clowns and one elephant in the commercial. Well, maybe. Yeah, um, one of the times in the years, in between nearly going on tour and uh, them folding entirely, we took all of our kids to Raymond Red when they were in town. And because my buddy, uh, just Larry, was working with him at the time, he took us backstage and we got to go back and see all the animals. And he took us into their, their uh, clown area to set up and showed them all their makeup kit. And our kids are just entirely immune to cool things. Like we just showed them too much cool stuff. We have too many cool things in our yeah. life. And they were like, okay, like, I guess that's, that's neat. Are we done? Like, <laughs> like what, you got to like, go back and try on their, you know, clown noses and stuff. Like th this is cool. This awesome. isn't cool. <laughs> he showed him his mold where he makes his new ones. And like, it was neat. Jordan Easel says, you can probably find clown acts elsewhere in amateur circuses and professional circuses too. Uh, the King says, Alan, have you ever forgotten that you had a prop in a certain area and freaked out by accident? No. <laughs> um, there, are, there are some that just get you kind of every time. It's not that you forgot it was there, it's that it's positioned really well. Right now we have a seven foot tall scuba man sitting in a chair out here in this hallway. Switching you over to the tripod because it seems like Osbon is froze. And every time I walk by, I think it's Chris who works here. And hey. I want to tell him to get back to work. It was also seven feet tall. Because he's just sitting there in a chair, being large. I didn't forget that she was there, but the mask I made at Monster Camp, mm -hmm. I had brought into our bedroom and was sitting up on like on top of a shelf there. And I like looked over at some point in the evening and it was just <laughs> there. And I was like, I have to move this. And then I just, I turned it around to face the wall. And I was like, oh, that's worse. <laughs> Why is it worse? Oh no. I brought, I brought it back up to work. <laughs> it lives here now. Ezekiel says, I see clowns every day at school drop off. Jordan Easel says amateur circuses are a thing. Oh, absolutely. That was a parent joke. But uh, Big Dan Custom Art says you can probably look up the commercial outside New England. Yeah, I'll have to check it out. 1980 says new B movie sees. <laughs> um, Don't. I'm, I'm, I'm not. I started and then I caught Good myself. Job. The sequel, Where Cockatoo. That's funny. Uh, Austin Zeddy says I've been through many haunts with Alan and never seen him startled. I, I, I enjoy haunts. Um, I'm not there to get scared. I'm there to see amazing things. The King says, that's amazing. Seven foot? Wow. I don't think he's quite seven foot. I think he's no, he's like six, seven. Still pretty dang tall. I want to fight him. <laughs> well, you're nearly back in fight and trim, so. Yeah.
They fit so good. <laughs> they do. They fit me really good. Okay, five lefts. Now we do five rights. Womp womp. He was doing so good. Twitter. He was tracking. He wasn't glitching. <laughs> Big Dan Art. Big Dan Custom Art says Alan's monster manicures. You monsters lead such interesting lives. <laughs> Ezekiel says you back in fighting shape. It's time to punch on. Yeah. So it's important that you punch everybody you want to. <laughs> The, uh, hey. <laughs> Did you just punch Rue? <laughs> nice. <laughs> she threatened to punch Rue. Yeah, the, uh, the important fighting technique uh, that my dad taught me was never start a fight with a guy with a guy with a pool cue. <laughs> nope. Yes. Yeah. You lose. Probably the closest I've come to death is from a pool cue. Dang. Buster Max says they have to have clowns. A circus just isn't a circus without a clown. Mike Mike says your work is in high demand. How do you avoid burnout? Charge a lot. <laughs> Legit. You have to charge more if more people want your stuff because you don't have time to make stuff for everybody who wants something. So the only way to bridge that gap is to charge a little bit more. And then fewer people want to pay that so you're able to meet that demand. As you get more and more popular in your career, you have to raise your prices a little bit in order to meet that demand. And also, making monsters is my favorite thing. And I really enjoy making the first one, so we do a lot of custom stuff. It's rare that we do stuff that is, um, you know, I don't want to go to the show and, and sell 30 of something. That's too much. So if it sells really good the first day, you have to raise the price a little bit. Because, you know, if you sell 10 the first day, then um, you need to slow that down. Creative Doof says, thank, you, thank goodness that Alan isn't some monster dentist. Monster's dentist. The horrors found during a monster meal would be nightmare fuel. I do like, uh, I do... A lot of teeth. I do a lot of teeth, do a lot of hands. For a while I thought I was a special effects podiatrist because I made a lot of monster feet. <laughs> Mostly because of stilts. After the horror is found after a monster meal. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> was it Dragon Heart where uh, the, the dragon picked something out of his teeth and it was Sir Egelmor, part of Sir Egelmor. Feels weird. Yeah. On my pinky, because the pinky line doesn't. All the all the other lines line. This is my hand with the extra knuckle, mm -hmm. and the, the where the crease is doesn't mm -hmm. line up. Huh. So it's weird pokey. That's because you have an extra knuckle. Yes. <laughs> you have an extra knuckle. Yeah. I've, I've shown you before. <laughs> like a spare one. On my pinky. It's a little chunko, yeah. That's delightful. 
I did not know. It's no longer than the other pinky. Oh, that's a little bit longer than the other, okay. <laughs> it's longer than the other pinky by that much. Yeah. All the other fingers line up and that pinky's just longer. Okay, yeah. There you go. Makes sense. Who knows? You mixed up a little too much? Very difficult process, turns out. Because it's extremely runny until it's not. Are you adding polyfiber to thicken it up? No. Should I be? Yes. Okay. That makes it into a paste. Okay. This is the last glove. I'm not putting out more paint for one glove. I will, <laughs> I will figure it out. Make it work. What doesn't bother you? My unpopular opinion is I feel like the word paste is like moist. Moist paste bothers you? Nice. Creative Juice says, since the former MST3K crew recently made fun of the Hobgoblins movie yet again, is there a likelihood that those hairy midgets are going to infest the haunt house? Hobgoblins. What? No. No, there isn't. It was a Hobgoblin's movie? I'd watch it. <laughs> Bug says no, shove that up to the camera. She wants to see if it's You have to see it at work. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're over here, right? I, I can bring it around. Yeah, probably over here is a better path. Path anew. Uh, I guess shoot it down? And my hands are covered in ink, of course, but if you look at these two pinkies, look at my pinkies, count the knuckles, look at where they line up. That's, that's it. That's all. Right there. How did you discover you had extra? Traumatically. Oh no. In kindergarten, when you're counting your fingers and toes. Yeah. I'm like, hey, that's that math isn't mathing. What's going on there? Uh, Creative Duke says it was a critter's ripoff. That's that's back when in school they would say everybody has ten fingers and ten toes. Everybody has two arms and two legs. And then you all made fun of the wheelchair kid. Because it was the seventies. They don't do that anymore. Probably for the best. Okay. I now need to uh, hit these guys. Jordan Nees says, those hands are made for work. The most valuable tool of the trade. Uh, I value them highly. You know what? We're going to put up a couple masks at once. Several masks need this. <laughs> Bug says you're like a cat with thumbs. Yeah. Sean Fenner asks, what failure was the most educational for you? I'll th I'm thinking on it. I'm going to do other things while I think on it. That's a good question. Warren Maxwell says, hey gang, how are things going at Scarborough this year? Hi Warren. I have yet to be there. I think they're going great. <laughs> For the one weekend that I worked, it was great. Nineteen eighty says, Polydactyl Allen. I don't know. I, I could just take off this. Oh, that was easier than it should have been. <laughs> <laughs> what What is this held on with? Hope? Dreams. Hope and dreams. Sweet nothings. This has werewolf pattern boldness. That's what's happening <laughs> here. A little close to the radiator. I uh, guess I'm taking the gray off. <laughs> because I touched it. 
Bob, Bob Bowie says failure, but lighting a skeleton on fire. Yeah, I mean, it, it worked. <laughs> yeah, the prop still is useful. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to use it. We'll find out shortly. I don't know. I, I don't. I don't really consider things failures just because it didn't work. Like you, you learn something. You learn a lot more from failure than you do from success. So I would probably say, what, what is happening? Here? This is on. Me. This is good on. Me. Oh no, it's not. <laughs> I'm going to take some of this off and put on gray. So I'll take off enough hair where I can merge the gray in. <laughs> and I'll leave this black in the background. Not like they did, but I'll actually attach the hair. Jordan Easel says polydactyl sounds like an artificial organism. Ezekiel says Rob glued that one. Boy, it sure is nice here. Just <laughs> a good werewolf. <laughs> that guy sounds like a jerk. <laughs> I'm not laughing, you're laughing. Uh, Creative Dew says that werewolf mask wanted more tasty fingers in its mouth. This is... Okay, this bit's on. You know what happened? Someone didn't wait for the contact cement to, to dry. dry. Hate it when that happens. They didn't. Big Dan Custom Art says, why does every woodshop high school teacher teach shop safety even when he's missing a few fingers? Because he learned. Like, <laughs> don't, Let don't, me show trust, you the don't trust a skinny chef and don't trust a shop teacher with all their fingers. <laughs> Warren Maxwell says, gonna pluck that gray right out of my hair. Creative Dude says, I don't know, a fiery skeleton would be wicked, but it is a waste of $50, though. Oh, I still used it. If I was smart, I would have taken the fiery skeleton to the trans world and put it in the auction. Oh my god. As an Uncle Owen problem. Oh, that would have been hilarious. So well. <laughs> Ezekiel says, skullet werewolf. We would have had to put a QR code with it with a link to the video. <laughs> yeah. And these are bad. This is... This weird little tufties. Yeah, I don't like it. Of course, those are on there. Um, Ezekiel says, skullet werewolf. Uh, Jordan Easel asks, do you punch hairs? Uh, I, I know how to punch hair. I normally don't because it's a colossal waste of time. <laughs> also, it's not great on latex because latex puckers so much. Normally, every time you punch in a hair, you pull up the paint right around that area. And we don't do much silicone. Yeah. And punched hair looks great, but it's not a long-term solution. If you're selling it to someone, you almost have to say, this hair is punched, so you can just pull it right out, so don't do that. I mean, I guess you could treat it like dolls with punched hair and put an adhesive on the inside. Well, then how comfortable is that? Probably not, but... Uh, Creative Dude says Werewolf is probably crying for his new bald spot. It's gonna look great. <laughs> werewolf as unnamed political figure. <laughs> going to be huge. 1980s is poor rabbits. I just, I just saw a sweet comb over. I'm like, look at that. <laughs> Listen, all I saw when you did that was, where are you? <laughs> <laughs> Emo. Emo werewolf. Trademark. It's an emo werewolf. <laughs> Creative Duke says, give him a mullet and tie a bandana around his head, make him an 80s wolfie. Uh, you talk to them for a moment. We're on the boat again. Oh, hey, Rue. <laughs> you have to move. <laughs> uh, don't show me. What? What?
There's a monster camp coming up. Um, I think we may still have small slots. I think it's a first time. It's still the studios. And first two days. Oh, the express camp, the, the two day camp, very nice. Um, let's see, what else is happening? Uh, if you are a member of Patreon at our five dollar month tier or higher, uh, you can come to the Mythical Monster Museum of Scarborough Renaissance Festival for free. Uh, just tell them. Come to the museum for free. Come to the museum. Yeah, yeah the, the festival you have to pay again, but the Monster Museum you get it free. <laughs> uh, let's see, anything else exciting happening? About to, we're about to hit Laser Palooza. Little more nice, a school mask in the background. There's a Spidey. Spidey. One of our spider masks, through skull from that guy. Very cool. Um, I don't know what's going on there. Uh, shenanigans. Okay. <laughs> Let's do anything. things. Let's do anything. things. Oh, God. It's going to fly. Yeah. As a school area, it's not going to be perfect. they see that? No, they are going to be perfect. Um, they are char picks that are punched out of a credit card um, that one of my kids gave to me for Christmas. Um, yeah. Credit card or the Christmas? The, uh, the char <laughs> The char The earrings made out of it. <laughs> way, way less cool. Yeah, way less cool. Um, <laughs> it, most of my life is currently uh, being eaten by getting ready for the new channel uh, that we are launching, which is going to be uh, making tabletop role-playing game terrain, and then eventually we're going to play D&D. &D. Uh, and so I'm doing a lot of research and uh, planning and scheming mm -hmm. and making things, uh, getting ready to make mm -hmm. things mm -hmm. wearing for that. Mm -hmm. So stay tuned for that one. Uh, there should be a lot more <laughs> about that one. Uh, this is largely a Patreon-supported project. Uh, as it turns out, when people give you money and you get to make cool things with that money, <laughs> um, which is exciting. Uh, so yeah, um, in July, uh, Melissa Lair, one of our creepers and monster camp attendees, is coming out. We're going to be uh, making some cool stuff and filming it. And so uh, definitely a great excuse to join the Patreon if you haven't already. Um, and we're working on doing some new like intro outro stuff for the main channel for YouTube Wednesday. Um, I'll come and join the conversation. I'm joining the conversation. So I have nothing to say. Awesome. Uh, Schleich is some pricey toys. They make some good stuff, though. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like this. Family people buy. Bye, honey. 1980 says, I thought about a DD terrain application. Cool, 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 cool. Do share. <laughs> yeah, that's been my, my primary, like, I'm not home, or I'm, I'm at home, but I'm not working, but I need distraction. So deep diving into other people building terrain videos and finding info picks of things I like and learning new techniques to make things. So I'm gonna say here, okay? Yeah. I'm repainting this mask, not because it wasn't well painted. I'm repainting it so that it better fits in with my world. That that's why I'm repainting it. It's a lovely mask, it's well painted. This is this was a very well made mask. Um I just wanted, I like my werewolves a certain way, and I wanted this to fit in with my other werewolves. So that's why I'm redoing it. Just bring it into visual alignment. Yes. When all these werewolves stand next to each other, I want people to believe that they're friends. 
or at least from the same world. Bug says the mic makes you echoey. Maybe I'm just speaking with an echo. It's part of my accent. And honestly, I don't know if it's the mic. I think it's just the space that we are in is big. It's the room. It's ultimately lab mics is on the list. Improvements we would like to implement on the show. Yeah, it took me a long time. It took me a long time to get the other show set up to where I wanted it. And if you all recall, I set that up during COVID. I wasn't doing much else. We're getting there. Now I'm doing much else. Ezekiel says werewolf synergy. Yes. We call it winergy. Winergy. <laughs> <laughs> Alex, are you leaving now? I was, and then I got sucked into watching the room. Do things. Do that. Polyfiber is a game changer, isn't it? <laughs> it's, it's neat. It's still... It's a little clumpy. <laughs> you got to mix it, mix it. I, I mixed the heck out of it. It's, it's just... It you starts, gotta know when to stop messing with it. It starts very liquid, yes. And I may, I may not even think these look better when I'm done, but I think they'll look like mine. That's why I was asking if she was leaving now and I was going to have Rue walk her out. That's, yeah. I had mom in my head. <laughs> Very protective mama. Creative Duke says, what happened to the bear? What happened to he went to work. <laughs> he went to work. Yeah. He's now well, working at the Monster he, Museum. He goes to work tomorrow. Oh, that's right. Technically on his way to work. Yeah. He, he got all albered out. John C says Shannon is the best. Can confirm. Hold on for an albert to the end of time. It's gotta be albert, it's gotta be bear, and it's gotta have feathers part of the time. Part of the time? <laughs> 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 bear. Well they change. Oh, made. Creative Doof asked, is he still headless? No, he's all finished. He's done. I looked where he was, it's gone, obviously, but finished. El finish day. going to peel up a layer of skin when you take that off. <laughs> Very few things bond to your skin as well as easy flow 60. It is done. Lesson learned. <laughs> David Pantano oh, says, good evening, Rue and Miss Stacy. Hope you're well. Doing pretty good, David. There were many times that you should have learned your lesson. Yeah, this is more. And yet, here we are. <laughs> oh, it's on so Will a solvent take that on? Not one you'd want on your skin. Ooh. Three wolves enter. One wolf leaves. Ezekiel says, poor Rue's palms. He's <laughs> gonna rip all the hair right off of them. <laughs> Completing the circle of Waxing Wednesday. Shh. <laughs> Christian Ty Edwards says, Alan, how long have you all had the Monster Museum at the Ren Fair? I think I opened it in 05. <laughs> how long has Leah been working there? Like 
9 or 10. Masato K says, good to see you. Hello, Masato K. Good to see you. Or, it's good to hear someone else talk for you. I'm not seeing you. I'm not hearing you. I'm not even reading you. It's good to have you represented by someone I know. <laughs> I got you, Masato. <laughs> Jordan Easel says, do you think oily skin is conducive for mask making? Because as Rue just demonstrated. Uh, I don't know that it would hurt you. That's I do racist. not have oily skin. Anymore. I have very dry skin. Not with all those solvents. <laughs> it does not help for this. Dead End Yard Hot says, lotion doesn't work on Easy Flow 60. No, it sure doesn't. doesn't. We get you a Dremel. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't just reaching for a Dremel. <laughs> I didn't say nothing. <laughs> okay, so here's bad advice. Belt sander. Oh yeah. Just carefully. Yeah. You thin it down on the belt sander. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Masato cases. I'm glad I'm well represented. If it starts getting warm, pull your hand away. He can't yeah. feel warm. He just oh, felt, you can once you get there. He just held that plastic cup like it was nothing. That's the secret, Alex. Men don't have feelings. Oh, this works great. Masato K says, I think I'm going to plan a 2025 monster camp outing. Masato, that would be so cool. We would love to have you. Listen, come in a couple days early and, and be on the live. Yeah, hang out. John C says, Rue puts the lotion on the skin. <laughs> if he did, he wouldn't have this problem. <laughs> he just put his gloves on the skin. Paying attention to hear the screaming. There you go. Uh, you heard it here first. Rue sanding off the easy so 60 from his So here's hands. what's funny is I've done it before and I know it's a good idea. Yeah. But no one should agree with me that that's a good idea. Uh -huh. Rue was way too fast to say, "Oh, that's a good idea. I'm going to go do that." Oh man, Ezekiel says, "Keep me posted, Masato. We have to do it together." That would be a powerhouse class right there. We have our first international monster camp student oh, in yeah. that. Uh, Someone from the UK has bought a monster camp spot and they're going to come. That's exciting. John C says, Masato on video after all these years. Ezekiel says, the rain has stopped down under, so down under is great. Good. Dubai, not so much. Dubai had a aggressive cloud seeding program. Yeah. Works. Works. They flooded. I bet. And much like Texas with snow, they have no infrastructure to deal with excess water. What would it be in a desert now? Right. And the clouds are like, this rain stuff is fun. I'm going to keep doing this. Yeah. Uh, in like four days, they got more rainfall than they normally see in a year. That means it's working! Oh, you can see the dust like just shooting off the sander. 1980 says, imagine if 1980 joined in on that. Come on. We'll have the, the Oops All Creepers camp. The moral of the story is, don't get resin on your fingers. It's bad for you. Yeah, Masato says, definitely Ezekiel. We gotta get 1980 and Keith to do it too. Come on, guys. Dead End Yarn Hot says the rain is just starting here. <laughs> Masato says, and John too. 1980 says, oh no, me and Keith will never shut up. Still I wonder, still I wonder, who stopped the rain? Good man for <laughs> Ezekiel me. says, hopefully not Stumpy Roo. Success. Oh, I'm good. Wow. That's Pretty sure I have no fingerprints left. Yeah. But 
<laughs> Listen, you didn't need those calluses. Oh, so baby, real, baby soft. <laughs> what I was saying is that I know it's a good idea because I've had to do it, but no one should agree that it's a good idea that fast. <laughs> you should have been apprehensive, like, mm, I don't know if I want to put my fingers near the belt sander. I shouldn't do that. Nope, you're like, oh, that's all, but go try that. <laughs> Hold my beer. I, I may have put my fingers on belt sanders plenty of times. So. Creative Duke says, so cloud seeding for rainfall would be a bad idea for the summertime? How much rain you want. Creative Duke asked, how was Monster Camp? You know what? It's amazing. Monster Camp is one of my favorite things that I do. Yeah, I'm locked in a room with people for like 36 hours. But... I'm, I'm a pretty easy guy to get along with, and watching people make things is so rewarding, and that is just 100% honest. Watching people, and there, there's like a process that happens from, you know, I watch this guy, he makes things. I, um, I make things now, and this guy showed me how. And then they get processes and techniques, at, and then it's just them, I make things. And that's actually kind of wonderful. Yeah. A lot of different people and perspectives, and some people are doing it because they want to use a mask in their haunt. Some people are doing it because they want to learn the skill and start a business. Some people do it because it sounded like fun and they collect hobbies like nobody's business. Ezekiel says, so Rue can have a criminal career now. But the world needs more monsters. And uh, if I can help people bring them about, I'm a happy camper. Jordan Easel says, resin will give you eczema. What do you like about um, Monster Camp Root. You, you get you teach also. I I love watching all these people that have never done it before make a monster, like pull something out of their heads and watch it come to life, and just watch how much joy everybody gets out of doing it. But nobody has a bad time at Monster Camp. They sometimes have a frustrated time for a little bit. Nobody has a bad time. Yeah. Ezekiel says, skeleton campfire sing-alongs. It's still beast. Yay. Megan Dare says, I loved the entire Monster Camp experience. It was so worth flying to Texas and meeting everyone, coming home with a mask and new memories. I can't wait till I come back in June for full mask class. Hooray. Yeah. Creative Duke says, Monster Camp sounds like a lot of fun. Man, it super is. What a... Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's very cool. It's cool to watch people discover. David Quintana says, Amen, Rue. Sean Rangel says, Monster Camp is a blast. Learning, making new friends, it should be a bucket list for everyone. That I love watching people push themselves. They may not be able to hear you because you're on the other side of the mic. But... Uh, you know what? Just saying, I love watching people push themselves. Not a lot of people push themselves to do things these days. And Monster Camp forces you to push yourself. Steve's on the yard, so I'm for sure doing it again. Yeah. So I feel like even if you're already a pretty established artist, like... Monster Camp is great because it absolutely eliminates that like analysis paralysis. Like you, you cannot spend too much time agonizing over it because you mold the next day. <laughs> well, all the time I walk up to people, and go, "Okay, how long are you going to avoid those ears?" You know, and just I, I, it's my job to push them into those things that they ought to be doing, or uh, and then showing them how to do it. Yeah, because obviously some, they're scared of it. Sometimes they just push clay around, and they're, 
they're just wasting time. They don't even know that they're doing it. And I'm like, quit pushing Clay around and make something happen. Ezekiel says you could have a monster camp and just hang out for the weekend. Edson Glute says if we do it back at the Hopsienda with the hot tub, I'm in too. <laughs> There's a hot tub at the hotel. There is one at the hotel. Well, at some point, you know, it, it gives us the opportunity to expand into other stuff, too. Talk about puppet camp, maybe, sewing camp. Yeah, this year we have corpsing camp. We have all kinds of airbrush labs. Yeah, airbrush labs are always fun. Creative Doof says, I'm cool with that. I miss my wet ceramic clay days because my community college did away with the course. That could help with making a decent mask. Yeah, that's uh, the clay we use is we use a uh, white modeling clay, low cone, non-fire. Dead End Yard Hunt says, someone should make an ear monster. People hate sculpting ears. This is, I think maybe one of the things I was I should do that sometime. To Shannon yeah. about is instead of doing a, like a, like a full um, weekend camp or whatever, we should do a like an anatomy lab where you just come for the day and you spend the whole time just learning anatomy. The, the issue is that that's even more of a niche market. Yeah. And yeah, I, I, just, I just think maybe in a couple of years we could do that, but right now I don't think there's enough people with, with interest that's okay. Listen, I'm, I'm deep in the five-year plan thinking. You and Shannon both. David Quintana says, I teach guitar. Very rewarding. Yeah. I can imagine. Yeah, Monster Camp is the fav my favorite thing I do. My, my favorite thing we do. Teaching at Monster Camp is, is just watching everybody turn this lump of clay into a monster. Creative Doof asks, is it like greenware clay? My professor was a fan of that and red clay. Yeah, I've used red clay actually before. Um, white stoneware or white modeling clay is what we use a lot. 1980 says ear monster versus Q-tip. The thrilling scene. Oh, I wish Gray were on. I want, I want. There's something I want to tell Gray. <laughs> she is flying in Tuesday. My sister bought her plane ticket. Just very interesting. Just to visit home. Uh, to come by and see my dad. That's wonderful. Yeah, that was. It was very kind. She talked to me yesterday. She, Gray said, "Yeah, I'm waiting till Thursday till I get paid to buy plane tickets." My sister was like, "Let me just go ahead and buy her plane tickets." That, that sounds great. Thank, thank you. Ezekiel says, uh, I wish I had the patience to teach guitar. I'm just not that guy. Creative Doof says, Monsters fear getting their ears clean. You know what? There's, there's teaching guitar, and then there's giving people the courage to play guitar, and giving people permission just by doing it yourself. And that is not to be discounted. Rick Baker doesn't really want to teach people to make monsters, but he encourages a ton of people to make monsters. And by him doing it and being successful, uh, he's also, in a way, giving permission. Yeah, I tell people all the time, I wish I would have known this was a career when I was a kid. You know, I would have made this my job a heck of a lot sooner. Wait, so <laughs> making this, putting it out there that this is a job and this is something people actually do is important. Yeah, just the visibility of that. Well, and one of the reasons I am where I am is because I started when I was 10 mm -hmm. and I haven't deviated course. Like, no matter what career you're in, you ought to be doing pretty well if you've been doing it for 40 years. David Quintana says, yes. Ezekiel Brass says, a great point. Space Space Freak 2 says, okay, I was half listening when ear sculpting was mentioned. 
And now I'm imagining a monster with endless ears coming from every part of the head. Yeah, I think that's what they were talking about. 1980 says there's a difference between inspiring, teaching, and gatekeeping. I'm a man, I'm a gatekeeper. Are you? Get out of there. Nobody can do this. I don't want this information to get out. It's a secret. Why are you filming me? <laughs> How did we get here? How did you get here? <laughs> Sign my NDA. Dead Andy Ardhunt says, I got fixed. I can't make any more monsters. Helpful, that. <laughs> I get it. I almost, I almost bought myself a vasectomy with haunt season money one year. Oh, yeah? Yeah. But they, they deemed that I was too young to make that decision. Isn't that wild? Yeah. I hate that. Oh, I, I've made a decision. It's just, you know, whether or not it's labeled murder. Like, no, it's not. Yeah. <laughs> no, it definitely uh, took, some, took some doing to talk to my doctor and to do my hysterectomy. They're like, but you're so young. And I'm like, right, but listen, I, I had a baby at 17. All my kids are grown. <laughs> like, yeah. can, I, can I live now? We're good. Like, let's go ahead and do the uterus and be done with it. Crips says, I've been doing it for 44 years. And I'm still not tired of it. Yeah, it's the best. Hey, Almatra Arts here. Says, hello, everyone. Almatra Art. Ba, ba, ba. <laughs> says, getting me. Getting fixed just changes the color of the puffs. Ezekiel says, I get asked a lot to teach. I'm struggling even to play at the moment. Plenty to be inspired, though. Megan Dare says, Alan and the team's enthusiasm was very encouraging. It makes you feel like you can do anything. Seriously, everyone sign up now. Don't wait for someday. It's a, it's a zero, zero failure environment. That's, that's what we try to have. We will not let try to fail. Have. Will not. Celebration. Realizing today that I'm going to miss a monster camp. Yeah. Really, really kind of got to me. We're like, no, I don't want to miss a monster Where, where are you going to be? Oh, you're in Idaho. I'm going to be. You're training. Iowa. Oh, uh, yeah. That other I name state. Creative Dupe says, some people need the skills taught to them. Not nitpicking, but I'm probably a lousy musician because I don't know how to read music and I probably made a lot of racket at music stores. Funny enough, I had music producers approach me while I was making some racket on a keyboard. Quote unquote music producers. They're like, we can help you, please. <laughs> yeah, please just stop that. <laughs> We're the music police, knock that off. <laughs> Al Mantra Art says thanks everyone. Good to see you, buddy. It's 8.45? Yep. Uh, I'll probably be harrying these guys tomorrow morning. David Quintana says, I would like to do a monster camp I sculpt with polyfoam, small things art. That's cool. I'd like to do a what? I would like to do a monster camp, and I think maybe there's a punctuation there. I sculpt with polyfoam, small gotcha. things art. Cool. Ezekiel says, oh, they're talking about creative. You play guitar all over the world, thousands of gigs, I only had to read once. Like, I can read music, but I usually have to remind myself to read music. I can barely read English. <laughs> Silly Zombie 666, I'll see you guys in a week. Hooray! Had a brief moment of panic there, because I know they're from Woods of Terror, and I'm like, that's not yet. <laughs> it's not time. <laughs> Yeah, you guys are going to be gone for a minute. Yeah, we're taking a couple of days off extra. Yeah. I mean... Yeah. Reduce my heaviness. Yes. It's technically, it's in King of Prussia. Which is close to that. Big Dan Custom Art says some of the greatest musicians couldn't read music. A creative group says no, if they were the music police, then Sam Ash and Guitar World would probably hire them more often. 1980 says, remember in Bed Knobs and Broomsticks when the main character was learning magic by correspondence dance classes? Correspondence classes. Uh, Dead Any Yarnhunt says tonight is airbrush night and tomorrow is hair night. 
Ezekiel says, I'm with you, Alan. I can barely read English. Silly Zombie says, I'm getting to go to all the haunt conventions, it seems. That's great. Yeah, haunted, haunted houses will take a lot from you. They'll take your knees, the, you know, and, the, and they, they can also take you places. Silly Zombie says, I used to spend a lot of time as a kid in uh, Pennsylvania. I wish we were close to Hershey, York, or Lancaster. I used to work at a haunted house in Lancaster. Has he got light up on us? Uh, he will if I fix the battery. <laughs> I was like, he's got a tail. This one is from the 70s. This is Wolfman 2017, I think. I was going to say that's before my time, but it's not. Because that's when I started working here. Right about yeah, the beginning of your time. Many moons long ago. And I, I assume these LEDs are so good. I mean, I feel like it takes a, it takes a lot to kill an LED. Yeah. Well, haunt actors. Silly Zombie says it took my back and my money. Yep. It'll do that. <laughs> take my time. Take my brain space. Take your weekends. Take some weekends for sure. Weekend. Go on. <laughs> weekends. You mean weekend. work week two? Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> Creative Doof uh, says Bob Dylan was like that. He once said, I don't need education, just inspiration. If I was educated, I'd be a damn fool. Still, I'm not certain if I want to go down the same route just yet. 1980 says it looks like Silver Bullet Werewolf. The, uh, I, I have a, I don't like art schools. Because what tends to happen at art schools is someone can go in with a style and they come out homogenized. And I, I've seen that happen to a couple of young people that I know. Well, former young people. Now they're people. Um, <laughs> and the, it, it changes them. You know, they get, they get exposed to all the things. And unfortunately, when you're exposed to all the things, it comes out a certain way. And I think that being exposed to what you're exposed to and how you interpret it and how you work it into your art is what makes you and your style. Ezekiel says a guy privately contacted me and wants to buy my Higgins mask. Yeah, there's, those pop up every now and then because um, I think there's only like 150 of those original Piggins out in the wild. There was one year people went nuts for him at Transworld. And uh, he was our most popular mask for a couple of years. So and then I just decided to end the mold. Like, so Piggin is, it's three pigs sewn into one mask. And like there's a, a little pig whose head is up here and his hoof comes down to the side. And uh, I made it for a character for someone who passed. Um, and you know, he was great with it. And uh, obviously I sold it. Um, but after its success, I had in my mind that I was gonna do a whole series of masks of little things sewn together. Mm -hmm. And the first one that I started sculpting was a mask made out of kittens that is sewn together. Oh no! And I, was, I sculpted about half of it and I'm like, I can't do this. Yeah. I can't do this. This isn't me. <laughs> and I, and then I'm like, and it's a troll now. So, yeah, I just didn't want to go there. Oh, I was going to do one of human babies. Yeah, I had, I had plans. <laughs> uh, silly Zombie says we have no social life. Who needs weekends? Steve Haunted Yard says, yeah, we never have a day off anymore with opening the store we have now. I need a break. Uh, wow, both Sean Regal and Mike Tom Woodworks had someone contact them for their piggins. Um, Sean said I had to say no. Uh, Mike Tom Woodworks says, same thing happened to me. I had the last piggins mask made, and someone reached out to me twice about it. Brenda Holman says, hello from the Red River. When I die, they'll be worth something. Oh, yeah. Uh, 
I'm hoping that's a while. Hello, yeah, Brenda. Say, let's, let's kick that can a ways down the road. Uh, I'm working on it. Ezekiel says 100%. Music College does the same thing. Yeah. Ezekiel asks, is it weird that you have masks all over the world? What was weird was when I sold Krampus masks to people in Austria. That was cool. Um, Cause that's kind of like where they come from. Mm -hmm. um, it's all haunt karma. It's all monster karma. And if, uh, if they're out there, I, I think it's cool. Um, I, I love what I do. If, if there is a, a, a measure of that, if there's, and not even, it's not even pride, it's, <coughs> it's awareness that I'm part of a wonderful whole, and that is a love of monsters. One of the first stories ever written down was Beowulf, and it's a monster story. David Quintana says, Houston actually has a school of rock. Creative Goof says, that's true. One of my former high school teachers uh, wanted the students to do what she did. I'm glad that I graduated the next year after she told me, you don't do what I teach you. <laughs> Creative Goof says, boo, kitten mask doesn't sound like a fun time. No, no, I couldn't do it. I, I couldn't do it. It's like, I don't, I don't want this. <laughs> like, I've, I've changed my mind. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I, don't, I don't want people to wear this and think of me, you know. Steve Sondiard says, that is way cool. And the next lady says, that's like selling cuckoos to the Black Forest region. Right. Ezekiel says, if I wear the Piggins mask, it's probably the one I get asked about the most. I'll never sell it. Well, that's good to know that you value it. That, that is kind of cool that you know that there's a limited number of them in existence. And... I wish I knew how many. <laughs> yeah. Like, that, that now that there is this thing, that there is not going to be any more of it. Mm -hmm. Limit, limited edition that people consider a collector's item. Like, that's really cool. How much time have I got? Uh, six minutes. I can dry brush one or two masks in six minutes. I bet you can. Alexa, countdown, six minutes. Six minutes, starting now. Yeah, that's... That's cool. That's, that's some legacy stuff right there. I think it's neat. I will. And there will never be another run of original pig. Snark? Yeah. We got a pretty cool war piggin though. That mold is broke. That mold is dead. Yeah, war piggin's out now. D-E-D -E dead. Silly Zombie asks, oh that's what I wanted to ask. Where did you get your I work here name tag? Uh, I ordered it. I just went to a name tag place and I had it made. Wait, and someone also made me one. Uh, yes, yeah, someone gave me an I work here pin too. And that's the one that I wear now. But my first one, uh, it's okay, I work here, uh, I had done. Ezekiel says, it's crazy that you have one in some backward part of third world Australia. I think I have a dozen of your masks. Well... You are supportive. Now, Ezekiel, did you find him at Transworld? Silly Zombie says, I want to remake my I don't work here tag. Dan I definitely knew Ezekiel before I met him in person. Yeah? Yeah. David Quintana says, Hound of the Baskervilles is one of the first scary movies I saw as a child. That's Ezekiel, cool. where do you live again? Australia? Like, <laughs> like, where in Australia? I have new friends that all... That's like Texas. Yeah. We live in Texas. We live in Texas. Yeah. Uh, Creative Duke says, enjoy your fiesta weekend. Watch for bad weather. As for the solar eclipse last week, I only saw clouds. Aw. As Stacy likes to say, womp womp. Womp womp. We had it cleared just enough that we could, uh, could see the eclipse. Ezekiel says, I discovered with the classes in the old house before the ranch. That was you guys living in Garland? Mesquite. Mesquite. You taught classes from the house of Mesquite? Uh, I did videos from that. Oh, okay, cool. Creative Duke says I would make an employee of the week simply because I don't like my general manager. <laughs> Ezekiel says Brisbane, Australia, Queensland. Brisbane. John C says in high school, the captain of the football team slash 
class, class president, scribbled on or crushed all of my art homework projects. Now he's a retired state trooper and head of security at the New World Trade Center. Well, that tracks. Silly Zombie says, every, every time I hear Ezekiel's name, I think of that video where the guy yells, what is your name? Ezekiel. <laughs> okay, so the last cruise that I was on, as one cruise ship is docking, and they're always, whenever they're at port, it's always like 50 feet of concrete between these giant cruise ships. And one guy in a balcony goes, hey, what's your name? <laughs> I'm like, I know where this is going. And I had just, yeah. I had just introduced Shannon to that. <laughs> so then she knew what was going on and she felt included. She likes to know these things. Yeah. OG Shannon. That's right. Apparently I can, air, I can dry brush three masks in, in six minutes. You still got two minutes to spare. I have a theory that I have to test. Oh, I? Yeah. It, it could be bunnies? I have a, no. I have <laughs> a, um, a 3M spray, which is super reflective. Okay. But you can't see it's on until you shine a light at it. Yeah. If a glow stick yeah. would set it off well enough, mm. that could be really cool. Yeah. I really liked using the super bright glow sticks for the show. Did you? Yes. Because it, it, it's campfire theory. They couldn't see past it. You know, it lights up enough, but still, it's bright enough. It actually hurts their vision. You should have just done like one per group. It was a lot of light. Um, Masato K says, oh man, you cruise? I love cruising. I'm going on the Comic-Con cruise. Eventually, I, we will do a Stilt Beast cruise. Um, I have to get there. I have to get a little bit established. I have to, you know, make some money. Yeah, um, we, have, we need to have a year where the Rangers don't but go. But I will do a cruise. Series. We'll open it up to creepers and pastry. anybody who wants to join us. That would be so and cool. And we'll say where we're going, and uh, and we can meet up and talk, and uh, that'd be cool. Listen, if Jonathan Colton can do it, we can do it. <laughs> Shannon says, "I was cool for a fleeting moment." Silly Zombie says, so what thing am I 3D printing you for the show? I need to keep it going. Oh. We, we do a lot of 3D printing here. Uh, the, the shop just kind of got a, uh, a 3D printer upgrade. Um, and I have started sculpting teeth in Blender that I will put into masks that I sculpt. Uh. Mike's Haunted Woodwork, uh, Woodwork says, I did that bit at the host hotel bar a few years ago and someone answered. 1980 <laughs> says, I bet it's flammable. <laughs> Justin Hill asks, have you vended at Texas Pride Bear weekend? If so, how was it? Uh, I've been. We make uh, stuff for their party Alexis all the Scott. time. We make stuff for their party, their Friday night party. So we do the decor for it, which is werewolf theme. Should, am I allowed to say that? We do stuff for their party, whatever the theme happens to be that year. Did you see it somewhere? Okay. It's not okay. Said, woo. Mike Sonner Woodward says, I hate that I missed that show. Silly Zombie says, dude, a haunt cruise would be fun. Megan Dare says, still beast cruise, take my money. It's not okay. Says, Royal Caribbean. Ezekiel says, still beast cruise, we'll get your drinking shoes on. Steve Tommy Yard said, oh my God, now I'm so down for that. Sean Fenner says, if Tater can do a cruise, then you can do a cruise. Yeah, because Tater just does his at a bad time of year for me. Poison like, Sumac says, would the reflective spray work well to simulate animal eyes at night? Yes, it does. Thanks. Masato Case says, if we do Royal Caribbean, I can get you some free drinks. Creative Duke says, keep making stuff, guys. You're awesome at it. All right, so that is 9 o'clock. Indeed. Uh, I did get them stripped down, and I got two coats of uh, dry brush on. I'll do another lighter pass of dry brush. We got an airbrush. I got to paint the teeth. And I gotta put on hair, and I'll do that tomorrow before lunch. So. We lost Rue. We lost Rue, he doesn't get to say goodbye. But. Goodbye, Rue. Alex. Say goodnight, Alex. Goodnight, Alex. Stacy. 
Say good night. Good night. And I say good night. Go make stuff. Go make stuff.